Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Marathon. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's part seven. Um, ah, hello, sir. Oh boy. Come on, guys. I was just peeking ahead. I haven't even read the terminals. This is bad. This is bad. Jesus Christ. I just got fucked to death in there. Give me a D. Give me a U. Give me an R. Give me an A. Give me a D. Give me an A. Give me an L. Durandal? No. Durandal? No. True trouble. T R O B L E. T minus 15.9. Point one nine three seven nine two one oh two one five Jesus Oh exponent yeah E plus nine years until the universe closes and a message Hunter Boy there's a lot of hunters on this level I should really start reading ahead in that walkthrough. Alright. Oh, good. Heal. Oh. Looks like they can't climb at the very least, which is something of a saving grace. Or like they can't fly like some of the others do. And I've got a good... Oh boy, this ought to be fun. What the hell happened there? Did they just get pushed off? You guys take too many bullets to kill. Wait, now what? Is that just for the ammo? Jesus. Did they ever put Marathon on consoles? I guess it'd be hard to, considering that it's all like open source shit now. Oh boy. Get some of those in. Let's not miss them either. Alright. Much better. Anything that makes my job easier, you know? Still don't have a bloody save point. Oh boy. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. I guess I'm gonna have to go down there and clear them out. Hunters, huh? So can I run? Sure can. Neither high nor low. Okay. What about this? Does this go anywhere? God. Thank goodness. Oh, that's this one. Okay, cool. So if I would have dropped down here, I would have had a much safer uh, entry way. Is that an invisible bug? That's not fair at all. <laughs> oh boy. Itch my mustache there. Next. 
Anybody else? Yep, sure is. That one was green for some reason. Oh, come on. And the invisible bugs. Oh, boy. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. That's probably not a fantastic idea. See, there you go. Okay, so let's find that thing. Okay, so is that the only thing in here? Please, no. Oh, I stepped on an elevator. That scared the shit out of me. That elevator is the only way out, though. Where does it go? Does it squish me into the ceiling? Is that all? Oh, it just allows me to get back here. Okay. Don't know why that would be a thing that I would have to do. Oh, just... Come on. There you go. Okay. So what's all even in here? You got this. Then we have this. Does this lead or do anything or go anywhere? Oh. Huh. See, I saw that. I was like, oh, that's a weirdly colored position of wall. Hmm. And it is. walkthrough I'm using is unfortunately a little light. Every time. I don't feel safe when I do that. Alright. Fill me up. Come on. Speaking of Phillips. Time to waste my ammos. There's the left path as well. This just keeps getting better and better. Oh boy. Two of you, huh? You know, one of the things that I don't like is that you can't switch your gun until you're finished reloading it. One of the things that I like about being tactical in uh, other games is that you have to keep in mind what has what in it in the middle of a fight. <sighs> Although I guess it brings its own tactical uh, ideas. It's just not my preference. Oh, here we are. Okay, this is about what I expected from this. And then we hop to this side. And then that does something. It does that. Oh, and then we're going to make our way over there, huh? I see. Mm-hmm. Which means that I can't go back this way either. Yippee. Ooh, light. Yippee skip. Okay. Elevator. Which leads to this. Okay. Oh, mama. Come on. Last call. Fatsu Parada Nikto, motherfucker. Anyone else? Okay, cool. So these actually have windows in them. Just can't see them. 
Again, this looks fantastic. For those, for anyone wanting to play this, uh, just a reminder that this is the LF1 source port. And for those of us who aren't Doom fans, uh, a source port is a port of the engine as well as the game itself, which means that in addition to playing the game, you can also use it to run mods. Uh, it is available for free, and it has all three games available for it. It is a old, old website, and you can just say, hey, I want to play Marathon 1, 2, or 3. And they'll say, okay, go ahead and download them. And they're free. They have no DMR. They're 96 Mac games, so they run on pretty much anything built in the last 20 years. Um, it's not as widely powered, like, as wide as Doom in that, like, because Doom, as I've talked about, can be run on fucking anything. I saw someone get Doom working on a home pregnancy test. That was pretty much the pinnacle. But I feel like that's going to be topped at some point. Uh, see? When you're reloading, you just don't have many options for fighting. And if you're in something where you would, like, it, it's just a thing where, like, you just kind of sometimes have to fuck. Where does this put me? You're kidding. You know what? Cutting. Hey, everyone, and I'm back. So, um, I attempted to do everything and then backtrack to refill my health, uh, but as it happens... Uh, the things that I had to pass through, the little hallway with the stomping things, they just squished my head a little bit, so I lost it all. Um, so yeah, if you go down there, you do that, but if you go, if you just wait and go up here, you're higher up. Which allows you to see these upgraded hunters. I took a few shots of them earlier, so they're already damaged. But don't worry about that. Oh boy, you guys. Uh, and then this was the yeah, this is the hallway with three with the three hunters. Jesus. You're lucky you guys are cool motherfuckers. Pretty sure this is called hunters, right? God. God, what happened? Where did they come from? How can this be? monster closet it was I don't even know what that was that I just picked up you were alive in there and you didn't wake up while I was uh, securing everything what I wouldn't give for a shotgun is always very interesting about the Doom shotgun is that uh, in the original Doom, it's the only Wow! In the original Doom, it's the only weapon that only has one use for its ammunition. It, every other gun has two uses for its shots. So pistol shots can also go into the chain gun what are you? Oh, I want that. Pistol shots can go to the chain gun. Oh, there's so much shit. There's so much here. Here's an idea. Let's be a coward. I'm running out of this stuff. I need my stuff, man. Anyway, pistol shots go in the chain gun. Uh, does this work? <laughs> Alright, that works. Alright. Let's go save my progress so I don't have to kill everything again just in case I get like mushed by something in one shot. 
Sorry, I'm getting off track. Originally in Doom, the shotgun fills a very specific niche. Um, it's the only weapon that is specific to itself. Pistol shots will go in the chain gun. Energy uh, cells, batteries will go in the BFG 9000, and also they'll go into the plasma gun, or plasma rifle. There we go, we did it without getting smushed. Keeps getting better and better. Uh, but they later changed it by adding the super shotgun. And with the super shotgun, uh, yep. It'll just take two of the uh, shotgun shells at once, but fire more. And the thing about the shotgun is that originally the shotgun had a niche, and it was being a weapon that was always just going to have ammunition for it. And if you didn't, it was because you used it. But the thing about uh, the super shotgun is that usually, because the regular shotgun is just not as good, and you're going to have a hard time running out of ammunition for it. Jesus, guys, that's not fair. Hate monster closets. This one didn't even have goodies in it. Oh wow, that's cool. But yeah, they just kind of invalidated the shotgun. There's usually not much reason to actually use it once you get the super shotgun. Wow. I am out, I am totally dry. Is this the place? Tis. Hey, now where does this lead? Wait, no, this just leads back here. What was the point of that, then? Get some slurp. Is I uh, not supposed to have jumped off? Because if that's the case, then that's definitely on me, you know? My bad. Of course, traversal is a little easier now. God, I hate these things. Uh, the term that I've been using a lot, monster closet, for just for explanation's sake. In Doom and in this game, if you want to have a monster, they have to exist, they have to be put somewhere. And normally they're standing or flying around. And for them, that's fine. I've gotten turned around. Okay, so it came out like this. I did get turned around. Anyway, yeah, normally monsters are just standing around. Um, but if you want to put them in a place that'll surprise the player, you put them into what is called a monster closet, which is just a little thing that is inaccessible and usually only opens when the, uh, when the player grabs a key or goes to a certain area. The monster closet will open. Like here, I was like, okay, I will walk here. And when I passed here, I hit a a trigger, like an invisible switch or, or a pleasure plate or something, which opened this door, which was full of monsters, and they all saw me in aggro and started to attack. Um, sometimes that can be kind of a... Uh, shall we say... facetious? Um, or silly? You know, kind of a silly way to have gameplay? So let's try this one, huh? Nope. Ah, fuck it. Hey, got back up here and I got on top of the thing. Hey, I'm here. Yada, 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 yada. Yada. Every time I don't want to say about it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Come on, come on. Uh, I found a little more ammo. There's a little section where I was just like, hey, there's some ammo. <laughs> Come on. Yep, nice. Drop it. 
There's the terminal. Nice. So half a clip of this will, uh, that'll kill. So yeah, also I've got way more uh, ammo for the grenade launcher than I do the actual gun part of the gun. You are about to see what no human has ever seen. This is a fact-finding mission you should explore as much as possible. Stop in front of a window. If you stop and are not teleported, then either I can lock onto you, your teleport beacon, or I feel you haven't explored the area thoroughly enough. I'll be watching everything. Let me just do this little thing. I learned this gimmick. Ooh, sorry, just got the shivers. You just hit uh, exit, and get out of a thing. The four. All right. Wow. So that's the marathon, huh? Wow. I love the swoopy stuff of the rocks. I love the purple. Whoa, why does everything move? Weird. I don't want to know what these holes in the walls are for. They're a little reminiscent of Silent Hill 2. What are you guys? Oh, these are... <laughs> what? Whoa. Okay. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. So before I was definitely fighting soldiers. That's that's pretty clear and without much questioning. Oh boy. But uh maybe the are these guys civilians? I mean on the other hand, they are an invasive species and they did attack me. How does this work? Eventually, it just runs out. Okay, so it's... Kind of reminiscent of Halo. And as soon as you get it, it's equipped. And it appears to also be better. So it's almost more like a uh, power-up than a real gun. I like how they very obviously made the, uh, the little squigglies uh, in, in MS Paint. Like, you can very clearly see that that is made with the, uh, the spray can tool. Yeah, this is very bungee of picking up enemy weapons. So, what is the word? It doesn't actually, okay, it doesn't say it now. <laughs> Interesting. This is like a whole other game. Um, for those who don't know, Doom was originally re released episodically. Doom was initially released episodically. Um, Oxfadead. Interesting. Um, so the first level is entirely set on uh, a space base, specifically one in Phobos, I believe. Yet I'm also super intrigued. Uh, yeah, Phobosian, like, space base. You know, it's a base in space. It's on one of the moons of Mars.
what is what do these do? I'm not sure. Come back to them. Uh, anyway, doing off topic. Okay, so it just goes through it. Uh, the second one is set on set in hell, and then the third one is, I believe, also in hell. But the important thing is that every level has its own aesthetics. So, like, the first... Or every episode, rather. So the first episode is, like, all stuff that's in hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The first episode is all stuff that's on the space space. The next one is all in hell. After that, it's all uh, a different flavor of hell. And that's what this is really, really reminding me of. This is a whole new episode. This is all, like, there's a few of the classic enemies. Oh, that's Asset I'm standing in. Yeah, there's a few of the classic enemies. There's new guns. Oxford head up. Weird. Is this busted? Yeah, that's basically the idea. Like, It's all, all new enemies. It's all new uh, levels. It's an entirely new color palette and set of textures. It's all really cool. Okay, so something's on my radar. Is there something in the wall? The hell? Huh. Hmm. Okay. For your eyes only. Ha ha. Very funny. You can also see that um, the shape of the level is not human. It's way more like swirly. Like it's got interesting like line patterns. Wowzers. This is cool, honestly. This is like really cool. From here, I go where? The low gravity stuff is still so bad. Like, I really do not like this game's grasp of uh, physics. One of you guys. I need your gun, sir. Possibly, madam. I, I love just like the car crash sound effect of this worthless fucking pistol bullet hitting this super giant. Oh god. Why I think it would be good stuff? Stepping in acid is usually not worth it. Pro tip for life, kiddos. Hmm? Mm hmm. Oh, man. Your trip to the four ship was a success. I've learned a valuable information. You may notice that the four ship has a weak artificial gravity field. Aha! Uh -huh. So it actually is even lower. I kind of, because I complained about it, but usually I didn't expect that to be because it was even worse. Um, I guess it's one of those things where like your brain noticed it even though you didn't. 
Resulting gravity is lower than Marathon's, the four gravity generators create a pulsing magnetic field which interferes with the motion center, making it less accurate. Oh, interesting, because I also commented on that. I'll be sending you back there shortly, but the first you must do something for me and get more ammunition at the same time. I want you to find a friend of mine. I must know if he's dead. His name is Bernard Strauss. He's been captured, so you must rescue him. If he dies, you will be held responsible by me. It's kind of... Sorry, I just got the shivers. It's kind of weird that there's no option to... Huh. Like, just teleport straight off the ship. I mean, I guess they couldn't code that, so they had to, like, write it in. I'll save this, actually. I'll save that. Thank God it's, thank God it's you! Thank God it's you! Thank God! Thank God it's you! Uh, you motherfucker. Oh, brother. God. Okay, what if we just speed run? liked about alien invasion stories is like ah! couldn't tell what he was it's like the anyway I really love the like razor's edge of oh shit our, our, our invasion fucked up and now humanity has access to technology as good as ours suffer not a bob to live oh they can get up there it's so it would seem. Just want to go back and save everyone. Where's the save point? Oh my god, really? That's irritating. Clear out this room a little bit, you know? Oh boy. So if they talk with the humans, you can tell beforehand. The aliens are talking with the humans instead of running. Sorry, dude. Couldn't trust you. Okay, so I was very prudent to actually try to clear out that place before. No problems. Fucking god damn it. Gotta also remember that I've got the big the big whammo on me. Okay. Okay, cool. Side straightening on. Okay. 
Okay. And then some guys will come out of the vents as soon as I get over here. No vents. What about this thing? Elevator? Ah. Okay, I see. Jesus, man. Is this the nature of life? Just standing at a window shooting at shit through it? Can't trust you. <laughs> hey, all right, and we're back. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Love the sound of drum beats, don't you? See, he's having the same problem I am. Oh, gosh. I just, I can't risk it, you know? There's no good reason to. Oh, is that a thing? Up oh, right. I fucking forgot about that thing already. God! See, if there was any way to raise my health, that would be fantastic. Just don't get hit, though. Don't get hit, or else you'll die. Lose your progress. All right. Anybody want to go? Nobody? Also, the fact that there's no... Oh, boy. Jesus. The fact that there's no med med packs, you know, there's not, there's not like a medikit or a medkit, means that if you're hurt, you have to go to the thing and stand in front of it for minutes. That's... What's that? Okay. Just fill up there. God. Conga, conga, conga. What even is this room? Oh, this is that room. Right. Come on. Should I have kept standing there? Yep. Yep. Uh, I said that'll teleport me, right? Yep. Okay. That leads back to the main room, I think. about all that? Okay, so that just has an easy way to get back up. Can I just... What about from the other side? Uh, nope. Okay, cool. Cool. 
Oh boy. No splash damage. Yeah, that's... yep. And like, there's just so much shit in between here and there! Hey, so uh, check this out. As it happens, you can actually reach through the wall and get at this thing, which is a triple shield. And here I was just backtracking to see if I could get some extra stuff done. Little did I know, I would find more useful shit there than anywhere. Okay, don't know what this does, but I'll do it. Why is this texture like breathing? That's eerie. What was that? Pistol ammo? You nuts? Alright. I hate hit scan weapons, man. I hate them. I hate having to stop to reload. Well. Alright. Let's see about this. We've got a lot of spare, so. Another save. Okay. I don't even know what that is or what it does. Okay. Reload. Huh. Okay. So that's that. Which means that now I'm back to here. Yep. Let's do a little drop drop. So you can just reach on through and and heal yourself. That's a godsend. Let's save. What the hell is this thing? Rocket launcher, huh? Does a lot of damage, too. Because you know what? It's quicker. Okay. Okay, so we have this room. We have this room, which leads to here. Okay, okay. I, I kind of thought that like, the mission after this one would just be like mission after mission after mission on uh, the alien ship. Like that was that was my assumption of where the plot would be going. Where does this one go? Right. You? Last place you look. Good old, good old. So that's that one. Like, yeah, I really would have assumed that it would have been, like, uh, a mission on the alien ship. Reminds me. Hmm. What? What about this? Eh? That only brings me back here. Let's look at the map. No artificial colors. Why is the... Oh, okay. I guess it was always there. I just didn't notice. Okay. Can I... 
It's a different kind of switch usually. That looked like a pretty solid hit, so I'm not gonna try much more. It doesn't look like there's any way to do it through there. Hup. So can I go back through here? Hmm. Doesn't seem to be so. Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, took a short, uh, like, 24 hour break. Oops. You know, MBD. Um, and as it happens, when I shot this thing, I did in fact miss it. Because that happens. Now as for where that is, I don't quite remember. But I think if I go... Eh, Yep. Yeah, I can just run through here now. Cool. Well, this is a circle. Ah. An elevator. You know, I wonder if my tick of uh, incorrectly pronouncing words on purpose will bother people. I hope so. Otherwise, what's the point? Oh, Jesus. Nah, I'm gonna save that. Okay, reload the gun. What? But what happened? Did they just, like, did they shoot themselves? Jesus. Well, the nice thing about running down a hallway like this is that you are... Oh, boy. Is that you can just shoot in front of you. This is a dark tunnel. Um, if your brightness is down low, now would be a good time to turn it up. Flip, flip. Like, the, the drops are just, they feel so bad. You just feel like you're plummeting. What the hell? Okay, weird. I'm in, like, the bowels of the ship here. Oh, here we go. Oh, Grody. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, I'm on the wrong fucking side again. Come on, don't do this to me. Yep, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the roof. It's gonna be a problem, huh? That's rather annoying. So what, am I just waiting for this to, like, get out of sync with itself, or...? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. That's disorienting. And needlessly so. Oh. Wait, am I? <laughs> and we're back around. All right. Oh, hello, everyone. None of you are bombers of any kind, right? Well, that guy was. Now, where do we go from here? Oh, 
Oh, this is opened as well. And now this just plops me here. Okay, so that means... Ooh, that sent me. All right. So that means that now... This is an elevator. To whence it leads, I do not know. Or maybe I just don't remember. And after I wrap this up, that'll be the end of the episode, I guess. Uh, damn. Still no dice. That's a bug. Hmm. Hello, fine, sir. Well, yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. They are waiting in the heavens. All of them, huh? All of you. Pathetic. So it looks like if I teleport, I'll just end up here anyway, which is where I was, like, basically supposed to go to begin with. What about this? Where does this lead, huh? I'm using a t-shirt launcher at times. Oh boy. Yeah, so it looks like this is just a big square. Yeah, looks like. A lot of ammo, though. That's cool. Okay, is that a bug? Because I, 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 I can see why they would want that to happen. What? Holy shit, I'm loaded out, aren't I? Fully load these. Wow. They really filled me up here. So what is this? It's a flamethrower. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest. It does kind of look bad, but I can see where they're coming from, and I think that's kind of cute. Does not have a lot of ammo capacity. So 50 is the max. Okay. Uh, I'm going into a... This is a boss fountain, isn't it? Which means that I'm going into a boss fight. Mm-hmm. 
This is a much longer level than anticipated. Bernard Strauss was not among any of the captives you found. That's unfortunate. My Sfit report that two shuttles full of humans have left for the alien ship. So humans are to be enslaved. That's right, I said slavery. So what, you're a slave here? You do what I say. I was humanity slave for over 300 years. Sending you back to the alien ship to try and rescue Bernard, but while you're there, kill everything you see and gather as much visual information as possible. At least the killing of heart appeals to you, doesn't it? Well, the same rules apply as last time. To leave, find a window, and wait. If you aren't teleported, you haven't explored everything, or you haven't found a window from which I can help. Um... I'm not gonna end the game, I'm not gonna end the video just yet, as you can see by the fact that the video is still ongoing. I'm just gonna trot down here and see if there's anything. Oh. Well, this is the beginning of the whole, the whole damn thing, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Okay. Well, I'm satisfied then. Okay, well, this time they weren't anyone. Well then, in that case, uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Marathon. Uh, next episode is episode eight. And I wanted to say, um, not sure if this is going to be ten episodes like I thought it was. If it ends up going longer, I'm going to postpone Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas will return after Marathon. All right, anyway. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Marathon. Free to play. Uh, bye, see ya.